let's learn about numerical integration techniques okay so basically we are looking at how to solve a integral of this type okay so basically we are looking only at definite integrals and how to solve them numerically okay we are going to learn how we can get a value for this integral without actually applying the integration techniques or integration formula but by calculating some values okay obviously as in other numerical techniques the answer is not an exact answer it's rather a approximate answer okay so it's going to have some degree of error okay let's just say that i have my function of x which is this one and i'm supposed to find out the integration fx from x is equal to a to x is equal to b okay to arrive at a solution using a numerical technique what i'm going to do is i'm going to divide this interval from a to b into n small intervals each having a width of h okay so i'm dividing the interval into sub intervals okay so let's just say that my a is x0 okay then this guy would be x0 plus h right this guy would be x0 plus 2h and so on finally you are going to have your b as x0 plus nh okay so my integration is now from x0 to x0 plus nh fx dx right so my integration a to b fx dx is now equal to this guy okay now as we have seen in the interpolation techniques my f of x can be written as f of x0 plus ph right so what i want to do is i want to make a substitution x is equal to x0 plus ph in this particular integral okay when i do that what i have is dx is equal to this is a constant so you are going to have h into dp okay and when you have x equal to x0 your p is equal to 0 and when you have x equal to x0 plus nh your p is equal to n okay so you have this transformed into integral 0 to n f of x0 plus ph and instead of dx you have h into dp since h is a constant i'll just keep it outside and i have dp okay now my newton's forward integration formula tells me that this is going to be equal to integral h into 0 to n you expand this using your newton's forward integration formula you have f of x 0 plus p into delta f of x 0 plus p into p minus 1 upon 2 factorial delta square f of x 0 and so on okay now you have this to be integrated with respect to dp okay so you have your p's over here you can integrate them term by term okay so you have h into integrate this guy with respect to p this is a constant so you're going to have f of x0 into p okay plus integration of this guy is going to be p square upon 2 delta f of x0 okay plus you integrate this this is your p square minus p okay so it's going to be p cube by 3 minus p square by 